Welcome to a short video on the CA Introscope workstation. You can use CAAPM to map all transactions to the end-to-end -end infrastructure and conduct incident triage and root cause diagnoses of issues in your software applications. You need to use CA Introscope workstation to view and manipulate data that is stored in the Enterprise Manager. Workstations allow you to view the performance data and configure the Enterprise Manager to perform tasks such as collecting information for analysis and creating alerts. In this video, you will learn how you can use CA Introscope Workstation. The different features available in CA Introscope Workstation are 1. Management Module 2. Console Notification Action 3. Simple Alert 4. Alert Downtime Schedule 5. Dashboard 6. Report Template Let's start by exploring the Management Module. Start the CA Introscope Workstation. Select the Workstation tab and click New Management Module Editor. The Management Module Editor is used to create and edit the Management Modules. This enables us to configure the presentation, detection, and notification logic to manage the Introscope enabled applications. To create a new Management Module, let's select the Elements tab and then click New Management Module. The Management Module is a container that holds the elements. Elements are the objects that organize the metric data with monitoring logic in the workstation. A new Management Module window is displayed. Set the name of the Management Module as Test. JAR file name as Test.JAR and select Super Domain as the domain name. Now, click OK to continue. We can observe the test management module is created successfully under Super Domain. This management module saves definitions of alerts, alert downtime schedule, alert actions, and other objects that we create directly from the application triage map or manually defining under the management module. This completes the creation of new management module. Now, let us move to the next feature that is console notification action. Let's create a new action for the test management module. An action defines what happens when an alert is triggered. Select the elements tab and choose new action. Then, click the new console notification action option. A new console notification action window is displayed. Let's name the console notification action as console action and choose test as the management module. Next click OK to continue. This displays an alert notification on all running workstation instances connected to the enterprise manager. The console action is created successfully. We can observe that the console action is in a disabled state. To activate the action, click on the console action and check the active box that is shown in the settings pane. Click apply to save the changes. This enables the console action to send notifications when an alert is triggered. Click test now to test the console notification action. We can observe that a notification message is displayed. This shows the notifications for all the alerts that are active and triggered. This completes the creation of new console notification action. Now, let us move to simple alert feature. Let's create a simple alert in the workstation. Simple alerts helps in notifying the administrator that some application is deviating from its normal behavior. Select new alert from the elements tab and then click New Simple Alert. A new Simple Alert window is displayed. We have specified the name as Simple Alert 1 and chosen the Management Module as Test. Next click OK to continue. 
This allows you to identify the source for an alert. The simple alert is successfully created, and we can observe the simple alert 1 is in a disabled state. To enable it, check the active box in the settings pane. When we create a simple alert, by default a metric grouping with the same name as the simple alert is created. Let's choose the existing metric grouping from the drop-down list. Metric grouping is used to provide the data to simple alert. Specify the danger threshold value say 5, caution threshold value say 3, and click add. These values specify when to alert the administrator and the level of severity associated. Based on these values alerts gets triggered specifying the severity level. We can link any action when an alert is triggered. Select an action and click choose. We can add an action for either or both of the danger or caution thresholds. This adds a console notification action that occurs when all the values specified within alert are met. That is when a caution or a danger threshold value is exceeded. Click apply to save the changes. The simple alert one is activated successfully. Under metric grouping node, click simple alert one. In the settings pane, select use metric grouping agent expressions. Specify the metrics that you want to group together in the form of regular expression. For example, the metric expression shown here specifies to collect the front-end average response time metrics of a particular application deployed on Tomcat machine. Let's monitor performance of the front-end metrics, which we defined under metric grouping earlier. Under the front-end node, click average response time. In the graph, the value of the data point, 90 milliseconds, is the average response time of the requests completed during the interval. Whenever front-end application exceeds the danger target that is 5, it triggers an alert, and thus an action associated with the alert, that is console notification triggers, and displays the relevant message. Click close to continue. This completes the creation of new console notification action. Now, let us move to simple alert feature. To create a new downtime schedule, let's select the elements tab, and click new alert downtime schedule. An alert downtime schedule provides, a convenient way of associating alerts in one, or more management modules so that we can manage the downtime periods from the management module editor. We have set the name as alert downtime schedule, and chosen the management module as test. The new alert downtime schedule is created successfully. We can observe, the alert downtime schedule is in a disabled state. In the settings pane, check the active box to make the alert downtime schedule active. Next. Select the scheduling option to simple schedule. This allows us to schedule weekly, monthly, or recurring alerts that can be set to start and end at a specific time. Here, we choose weekly to set up recurring the alerts on every Monday. Next, select the management modules option and select test. This disables the alerts under the specified management modules that is test. Click Apply to save the changes. We can observe that the alert downtime schedule is activated successfully. This completes the creation of new alert downtime schedule. Let us move to the next feature, that is creating a dashboard. Let's create a new dashboard. To create a new dashboard in the Management Module Editor, select the Elements tab, and click New Dashboard. This allows you to create collections of different data viewers for different uses. Set the name as Frontend R Dashboard and choose the Management Module as Test. This creates a new dashboard. The Frontend R Dashboard is created successfully. To activate the new dashboard, go to the Settings pane and check the Active checkbox to make the Frontend R Dashboard active.
let's select a graph from the elements available in the editor pane of dashboard. Now let's add data to the data viewer. In the console, right click the empty data viewer and click data options. The data options window is displayed. This lists different data options available as we are creating dashboard to view the metrics of front ends of a particular application. Select metric data type and select the average response time metric for a specific application. Now click OK. We can view the graph in Frontend R dashboard that shows the performance of the selected application. Click Apply to save the changes. Now navigate to the console and select Frontend R dashboard. The workstation console displays metric information in dashboard. Let's verify the average response time in the metric browser. We can observe, there is no change in the performance data of the frontends. We can view the same change from the frontend R dashboard. Therefore, dashboard enables to provide an overall view for some selected metrics of an application, and also reduces the time to search the metrics. This completes the creation of new dashboard. Let us see the next feature, that is how to generate a report template. Let's now generate a report template. To create a report select the Elements tab, and click New Report Template. A report template allows us to define which metric data to track, the time range of the reported metric data, and how to present the data in graphical and tabular form. Next. Specify our report template as the new report template, and choose test as the management module. The new report template is added to the management module editor. In the settings pane, select the active checkbox to activate the report template. Next, click open template editor to define the report data, and then click apply to save the changes. In the report editor, we specify the purpose of the report, when and how long it runs, and how the results look. Right click on the report template, and then click add. Now, select the metric data graph from the menu list. Next, we can observe that the metric data graph is added to the report pane. Let's click data properties. Now set the start, and end time and then specify the duration in hours. Click the metric grouping drop down list and select simple alert one. This creates a metric grouping for the simple alert one. Click the display properties tab to set the display properties. Accept the defaults values and click apply to save the changes. To preview the report, click preview selected element. We can view the preview of the report. Click Generate Report. This generates the report for the Art Report template. Generate Report window gets displayed. Now, click on Select button to select the agent expression that is which agent reports we want to view. Select the agent, for which we want to get the reports, from the list and click OK. Now click Generate Preview. This displays a preview report of the Art Report template. You have now learnt about the different features of CA Introscope Workstation. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit www.ca.com/education.